All right, back in the saddle here and just continuing to plug our way along. I'm just trying to scan the brush here just in case I see something that jumps out at me uh, with regard to maybe a telegraph pole or something. Now, I was made aware that some areas where you don't see any could be due to the fact that when they did remove them and they just cut them down, right? They just went along and just buzzed them all off. Um, and you've seen that on previous hikes that people could purchase the poles. Um, they had to kind of sort of drag them out on their own. I don't know about this area, but I, uh, I know for certain uh, further to the east up in, uh, in Greenstone, that was the uh, that was the case. Oh, partridge! So this weekend here in Canada is uh, is Thanksgiving weekend. So once I head back to uh, once I head back to camp. And for those of you who are not from this area, camp up here in northwestern Ontario is a cabin or a cottage. Once I head back to camp, we're uh, going to do a little bit of Thanksgiving dinner out here. Get the family together. Very pretty in through here with the, uh, with the poplars, even though they're losing their leaves. Maybe last weekend would have been really nice with uh, the... Uh, the poplars with all their leaves and everything and kind of very golden color. Still looking, don't see a single telegraph pole. Just looking as well too, we're coming up to a road crossing here. Just checking to see maybe if there's a flanger sign for the crossing. Not seeing anything. Yeah, and it just seems like in these this area here, they just removed every trace of signage. And so this is uh, Black Bay Road, um, one of the many access roads in this area that runs down to Lake Superior. Uh, this one in particular runs down to the Hercut Cove Conservation Area which I've mentioned, so we'll carefully cross the road here. Uh, one of the things you'll notice, and we've pointed this out on other hikes, the very red appearance of the, uh, of the rock here, uh, of the gravel, um, that's very indicative of the geology of this area. Um, this uh, area here is part of a geological formation called the Sibley Group, um, and uh, there's a very, very high iron content in the... Uh, um, in the rock here and so it takes on this very reddish tinge just looking for a flanger sign on this side again nothing to be found so here uh, we haven't gone through this uh, I've been through here before but uh, we didn't go through this this morning we obviously started our hike at the road here and uh, so this part here we haven't uh, we haven't looked at yet and uh, so this is uh, the short little piece here uh, heading down to the uh, Wolf River So somewhere here is supposed to be milepost 147. Um, again, I don't think it's here. So milepost 147 would be 98.3, is that right? <laughs> On the original line, because um, we have to subtract the 49.7. Sorry, 97.3. Wow. My math sucks. 97.3 is the milepost. 
So the milepost marker should have been somewhere here. Just having a look. Sometimes they, uh, sometimes they would cut them off and you'll see the little stub of the pole. I don't see anything. Sometimes you gotta just be lucky too. If it's on the ground or if the, the stub of the pole is there, um, you just gotta be lucky to, to see it because again, in the vegetation like this, it's really difficult to see anything. Tie. Piece of a bucket here. Oh. Fingers are like in my gloves are cold. <laughs> All right, so we're going to uh, jump up on the bike here and uh, work our way down to the river. Great is nice and uh, nice and wide and nice and clear in this area here. Oh, there's a grouse. So in through here. The bridge is just coming up. Um, so, a couple of things. So first of all, uh, down here you can see there's a little bit of water. Um, this area here actually used to be um, part of a, uh, um, there was a, a meander in the river that got cut off. Uh, if you're kind of uh, more geologically inclined, uh, you'll know what, uh, what an oxbow uh, lake is or an oxbow river. Uh, basically what happens is when the when rivers get curvy, when they get meandering, uh, eventually some of those things will get cut off uh, and they will form an oxbow lake. Uh, and then typically that oxbow lake will, uh, will dry up. And um, so this area right here is actually part of that. Um, and we saw the water down there. Um, when you actually look at uh, satellite images, you can actually see that. And so maybe I'll, uh, I'll throw that up there. And so here, um, we also have um, a, uh, a feature uh, so when the railway line was originally proposed, uh, there was supposed to be a station in this area here and it was called Wolf, uh, obviously named after the Wolf River, which is just coming up, uh, up there. Uh, you can see the, the barricades there in front of the bridge. Um, the, the station was never built. Um, and basically what you ended up with is you ended up with a major station, uh, just to the south uh, which is Dorian, uh, and uh, um, again, Dorian was one of the major stations. It was basically um, kind of in between um, Nipigon and uh, and Port Arthur, and then uh, um, obviously we had Herkut, which we just passed, which was not a real station, just a flag stop. 
but uh, uh, the, the, the proposal originally was to create a, a station in this area and it just uh, never panned out. There were several of them. Um, um, you know, there was one up closer to Orient Bay that was never constructed. There was one uh, obviously here. And that was just sort of part of the, the natural progress of things, right? Where, you know, things changed as the railway line was constructed. All right, let's uh, plug our way along here to the river, which is just coming up right up ahead of us there. All right, so we're almost at the uh, the Wolf River here. Um, we're up on a very, very high embankment um, just by the nature of the geography here. Again, no, uh, no telegraph poles or anything. Just looking through the brush there and see if I see anything. It's so hard to see, the brush is so thick in here. We've arrived at the bridge crossing. Just trying to see if there's maybe a, a flanger sign or something here. Again, they ripped away all the, seems like they pulled up all the signage. There's something down here. Good luck trying to, good luck trying to see it. Again, the brush is so thick in through here with all of these, uh, there's cedars and stuff. What is that? Probably junk that somebody threw down. Hey, anybody need a twin mattress? I wish people wouldn't do that. I hate when people just dump their garbage. We have such a... Uh, a wonderful natural asset around here with the with the with the beautiful nature and people just huck their garbage all over the place. All right, so uh, we've arrived at the Wolf River, and so what we're going to do is uh, we are going to make our way across the bridge and uh, do some exploring here. <laughs> 